Hey guys, welcome to Solve My Math Homework. So today we've got a word problem involving the volume of a cone. So let's read the problem. It says that we have a cone-shaped vase that can hold 45 cubic centimeters of water and it has a radius of two centimeters. It wants to know what's the height of this vase and it wants us to use 3.14 for pi and round to the nearest hundredth. Okay, so when they tell you use 3.14 for pi, that just means we're not gonna hit the pi button. But there's other clues in this, okay? The fact that it says cubic centimeters and it tells us capacity, it tells us we can hold 45. All of that tells us volume, okay? Cubic, we know we're dealing with volume. Area is in units squared. Volume is in cubic units. So this tells us we're dealing with volume. Let's look at this problem on a new clean page, okay? And again, we know that we're dealing with volume and we know that we're dealing with a cone. So let's look at what this looks like. If you take a circle, right, and then it comes to a point, you have a cone. It is very similar to a cylinder. Cylinder has two circular bases that are equal, right? And so the, the cone doesn't. The cone is actually, if you measured it out and you had equal bases with a cone and a cylinder, you would find that the cone is a third of the size of that cylinder. So let's go ahead and get rid of the cylinder because we don't have that. And I just wanna keep that ratio in mind because it's gonna help you with this formula. So here's our cone. We know that the circle here down here is, this is the area is going to have to somehow be included in this. So we know the area of a circle is pi r squared. That's probably going to be in our volume. Anytime we take volume, we take area of the base times the height. So we're thinking pi r squared times the height is a good bet. Except if we do that, we would have a cylinder. In fact, anytime we have something that comes to a point like this does, the formula is going to invi involve dividing by three. A cone is one third the size of a cylinder if the circular bases are equal. So always remember, if you see a point, divide by three in your formula, all right? And I realize in your textbooks, your formula might say uh, one third pi r squared h I just think that's super ugly to look at and it's easier to say I know that it's the area of the base times the height and then divide by three because it comes to a point. All right, so let's get rid of all this and kind of rewrite it away and somewhere where we can just deal with it in a nicer way. Okay, so we got volume equals pi r squared h divided by three. Now let's see what information they gave us in this problem. They told us that it could hold 45 cubic centimeters. Okay, that's capacity. Anytime it's capacity, that's going to be our volume. So our volume right here is 45. Great, let's see what else they gave us. They gave us a radius, I remember. The radius, it says it has a radius of two centimeters. That means R is going to be two. All right, it told us in the beginning of the problem to use 3.14 for pi, so there we go. And it wants to know what is the height of this thing? What's the height? And interestingly enough, the height is the only variable left unsolved for. Okay, so let's go ahead and plug in all of our information. And once we do that, we're gonna erase that thing in the top corner because it's ugly. All right, so let's do this. We've got 45, the volume equals pi r squared. So r is two. So two squared times 3.14 times h divide by three, okay? All we did was take the volume formula and plug in all the information the problem gave us. Now we're gonna erase it because it's going to look ugly. I don't want it to confuse us. All right, so let's simplify this down. So the 45's great. We're going to have, um, let's see, we can clean this up just a little bit. Four times 3.14 is 12.56. So this is gonna give us a 45 equals 12.56H divide by three. All right, so now we really wanna get rid of that fraction. The fraction's throwing us off, we don't like it. So we have a divide by three, how do we get rid of that? We multiply both sides by three. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. 45 times three is 135 equals 12.56H. Well now we're just stuck with 12.56 times our variable. We wanna get our variable alone. What is the opposite of multiplying by 12.56? It is dividing by 12.56. So let's go ahead and change colors and divide that out. So 12.56 gets divided out. 
12.56 gets divided out here. So that leaves H all by itself. I'm going to kind of come over here because I'm running out of room over here. Actually, let me just add a new board. So we had 135 equals 12.56 H. We decided we had to divide by 12.56 because that's the opposite of multiplying by 12.56. We get rid of that, we get rid of that. We wind up with H equals whatever 135 divided by 12.56 is, and it is 10.748. Why did I go out three decimal places? Because it told us to round to the hundredth, which means two places, which means if I need to know where my hundredth place is, I have to go to my thousandths place. So the eight rounds the four up, so H equals 10.75 centimeters. Remember there were units in the problem, there should be units in your answer. All right, I hope that helped. That is our answer, we are done. We have solved the problem, we have added units. If you have any questions, please pop them in the comments section. Also, we're using a new software, and I wanna know, is it awful to look at? Do you like it? Is it better with this style? So go ahead and pop a co comment in there. Tell me what you think of the new software. I'm not sure I love it yet, um, but it's definitely better than seeing my hand write everything like in previous videos. All right, be sure to subscribe because the only reason I solved this problem is because somebody who subscribes sent it in to me. Thanks for watching.